Hey, fantastic people. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Now check out our wash day routine. So after taking some suggestions, these are the products that I'm testing out on my five month old hair. First, I'm just trying to wet her hair so that way I can get it nice and damp before I add the shampoo to it. Um, and I pretty much have it just on warm water. So I watched a few videos and I asked for suggestions from a mom's group I'm in on what products to use and that some of them suggested the Can2 Kids line. So this is my first time using this line. And as far as the shampoo goes, I really um, appreciate the fact that it lathered up really well. For me, sometimes it's just the fact that I was able to see all of the lather and the soap making me feel like I'm really cleaning her scalp. Um, she doesn't do much because it's not like she has a job or anything, but I really wanted to make sure that I got her scalp really nice and clean. Um, I haven't had any trouble with cradle cap because um, I got it early, maybe a week out of the hospital. I really you know got and dug into um not dug into but i really moisturized her scalp really well um to make sure that i didn't have that issue but um the shampoo rinsed off really well um i didn't feel like there was anything left it didn't dry her hair out and i was really satisfied with that so after i rinsed out the shampoo i wanted to do a little bit of finger detangling to her hair just to make sure there weren't any knots in her hair or anything like that and um, I did enjoy how again the shampoo felt the aftermath of it then um, once I added the conditioner what what I will say about the conditioner is that it feels really really soft and applying it to the hair makes the hair feel really soft as well during that process and I wanted to make sure that I got it down to her tips um, and I massage it through her scalp as well so I did use um, my little detangling brush to go through her hair a bit some um she has not gotten used to getting her hair done um but it's something that is a continued working process so moms if you have any suggestions on how you keep your baby calm during the wash process or just during um styling in general please leave those comments down um in the um the section below because yes um this is my only daughter so this is all new to me and I'm taking it one day at a time. And again, with rinsing off the conditioner, it was a really easy process. I did not feel like it was any residue left. Um, I feel like her hair was not dried out. It was just as soft as before um, the wash process. So I did appreciate that. Again, this is my first time trying the products out. So I have to use them a few more times to decide if it's something that I want to keep. Um, all in all, my goal is to make sure that I am keeping her hair and her scalp clean and giving um, or using a product that does not dry her scalp out and does not um, cause any damage to it. If anything, I want a product that's going to help her hair grow. Okay, so let's see if I can get a closer look of her hair. Let's see. Uh-uh, you got to turn around, Mama. She wants to see the camera. So you can see her curls somewhat. The sun is really in our faces right now but i did the shampoo and the conditioner that was it and now i'm going to add some of the styling custard even though um i don't plan on doing anything to it if i do a styling video then i'm not going to style her hair right now i can um do a styling video later on but right now i'm just worried about conditioning her hair and it says apply it to wet or damp hair in small sections soothe each section from root to tip of fingers okay or tightly press okay so it's her hair is wet like I said she got the curls popping they popping she's a lot of shrinkage <laughs> and that's just in general with coily hair but her hair is a very fine texture right now I don't know if it's going to stay that way, but right now it's a very fine texture. I'm going to pop this in. And I'm going to put some of this in my hand. She 
So, moms, how do you get your little one to stay still during the hair process? <laughs> during the hair process, because she is not a happy camper. She is not happy at all. Anytime she feels like I'm getting close to her hair, she will. After a little while, I need a little more. So, please leave tips in the comment section on how to tame your little one while you're trying to tame their hair. I have the styling custard on her hair and you see you stretch her hair she doesn't want <laughs> she's like no mommy no mommy she wants to look at herself though <laughs> You want to smile? You want to look at yourself? You see. You see yourself. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see. So, I'll probably leave it like this for now. And then once it dries a little bit, it's okay, sweetie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Once it dries a little bit, I'll probably um put a little oil in her or oil her scalp a little bit and then leave it be. I'm not going to put any barrettes in it right now. But yeah, you can see that spot even better now. It's less hair right in that area. So that's the area that I'm trying to grow back. So in, a net, in another video, I will show you how I am trying to grow back because I haven't started yet. So you guys will get to go along the journey with me to growing that spot back but thank you for watching this is my only girl i don't know how to do hair so <laughs> any tips please leave them in the comment section see you guys later <laughs> all right so i'm going to give the cancel product a try for a few months to the end of the year to see how it works with her hair one thing i will say is i have rarely used the styling custard i actually picked up um, one of their leave-in conditioners and I like that more on her hair so I can't really give too many reviews on the styling custard but I will come back in another video and talk about the leave-in conditioner that I've been putting on her hair after each wash day thanks for watching remember to like subscribe and comment